Car's overheating again. But that's okay. That's good news, right, Ivan? Ivan, Ivan's trying to flag somebody down. No, we don't. <laughs> He's got a fire extinguisher. No, this is good news. Why is this good news? I've been waiting for this. This is a Chevy. So these, these always have this problem. It's a blown head gasket, or at least a leaky head gasket, which is fine. This is good Why? news. Why is this good news? Well, because, because I was expecting the transmission to go kerflooey. But actually, that would have been fun too, but... No, this is, this is, this gives me a chance to do something I've been wanting to do for a, quite a while. I got the secret weapon. Can you see that? That is head gasket in a bottle. Blue devil. No, no, not the Duke University blue devils, although those guys are pretty good too. No, this stuff... What do you see? Well, I'm going to demonstrate how well this thing works. We're going to get home. Don't worry. Stay tuned. We're waiting for the car to cool off. Diane's mad because we're late. Oh, don't look down. We're coming. A few more minutes, okay? Careful. Oh, no! I dropped Diane. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, she'll never let me live. I'm going for it. What? No. Get down from there. It's Diane. I gotta save her. Oh my god, you are the crazy man. I think I see movement. I got her. I got her. Why do you do this? <laughs> You're not gonna help me. Oh man, I need a new need a new director. You there? You are there. Huh? What am I doing? Just, just hanging around. Playing bridge. Uh, are you okay? I said, are, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? Why? What do you mean, why? I don't know. I just... I was worried about you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, anyway. Give me cardiac. Huh? Idiot. That's only, what, 100 feet, maybe? 100, 120 feet? How are you able to do this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all in how you land. It's a it's secret. It's witchcraft. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how, because then, then people are going to try it out there in YouTube land, okay? And if they don't get it right, they're going to get hurt. They're going to feel bad. Won't be able to sleep at night. Of course, I don't sleep now, but it'll get worse, and I don't want anybody to get hurt, okay? Don't try this at home, okay? Come over to my house and try it. I first learned about Blue Devil about uh, oh, eight or ten years ago. I used to work on cars for a li living. <laughs> I don't remember doing much living. I used to have an old work car that I drove around, an old Chrysler LeBaron convertible. I'll never forget that car. Anyway, it had all the symptoms of a blown head gasket, right? It had the milky oil, it had no heat, it was overheating, it had you know, all the steam blown out of the exhaust, barely ran. So I tried the Blue Devil and it worked. I couldn't believe it, it actually worked. I drove that thing for another four years till it hit the ground, as you know, in those days Chrysler's were known to do. Here, boy. Anyway, about that time, a woman came into the shop driving a, what was it, Ivan? A uh, Chevy? You guessed it, a 2001 Chevy Impala. 
blowing steam out the tailpipe, filling the whole shop. It was like London in there. She said it was going through two quarts of coolant a week, probably more than that. Overheating like crazy. Another shop quoted her 1800 bucks for head gaskets. Now, seemed, seemed fair because, maybe not fair, but that's what I was getting at the time. <laughs> but uh, she asked me, she looked at me with a big smile on her face, wearing that blue dress. She asked me if there was anything that I could do for her. Now, this wasn't your average ordinary woman, okay? This was a single mom. She was working full time, going to school full time. She had blue black hair. I mean, blue black, okay? You don't see that. You don't see that walking around every day. She had those big dark brown eyes. She was wearing, wearing that blue dress. Anyway, and I said, you know, of course, I said, yes, yes, I'll save you. Of course I would. Of course, right? So I told her about it. I told her about the Blue Devil, you know, and, uh, you know, the success that I had with it. And uh, I said, if you have at the time it was about 25 bucks. I said, do you have 25 bucks? She said, not really. No, you so, didn't. Yes, yes, I paid it for it, okay? 25 bucks, I paid for it. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Stupid. She was wearing a blue dress. She play you. So, anyway, we tried it, and she stayed with me. She stayed right there with me. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. I still see her. It's so weird. But she stayed with me, and... After about 15 minutes, the car stopped steaming. I couldn't believe it. This thing was really, you know, I didn't think there was much hope for it. After about another 15 or 20 minutes, it's, the misfire went away, started running a lot smoother. And she was thankful, she was thankful. She thanked me, gave me a kiss on the cheek, and she was G-O-N-E, gone. Anyway, I thought about Annie. I thought about Annie all the time. Then one day I was at work and I looked up and there she was. Just like, uh, just like, uh, Jenny. Jenny from, yeah. There she was, big smile on her face. I thought, you know, for a minute, for a minute, I thought, this has got to be bad news. This has got to be bad news, right? Please don't tell me the Blue Devil failed. No. I, I took one look at that big smile she had on her face, and I knew it was my destiny. What did she want? She handed me... She, she was thankful. She handed me a package. She handed me a package. You'll never guess what it was. Chainsaw? No. Pain. No? No, cupcakes. Cupcakes. She got me cupcakes. It was awesome. No one's ever done that to me before. I'm thinking I got a bite. So I, I thought, you know, this is it, this is it. Things are really starting to look up for me now, right? But this is my opening, this is my opening. I made my move. I made my move. I thought, now or never. These trout are really biting. I thought, I'd ask her out. I asked her out for coffee, and she said, nope. Just like that. She said, nope. Now, it would have been better. It would have been a whole lot better if she said, you know, something like drop dead. Or something. She said, no. I was devastated. I was devastated, and she, again, was gone. That's okay. That's okay, because I told you that story. I told you that story so I could tell you how well Blue Devil really worked. Whoa. Time to have some fun. If you can get the hood open, you're one step ahead of the game on these Chevys. 
Ah, okay. Oh, man. I have spent way, way, can you guys even see? I have spent way too much time under here. I gotta hire a redecorator. Okay, we need to confirm. We need to be 100% sure that we have a bad head gasket, which I already am, but this is always a good idea. We know we're overheating. That's symptom number one. We're losing, on this beast, we're losing a quart and a half to two quarts of coolant a week. Symptom number two, we are definitely steaming out the tailpipe. That's where that coolant's going. Symptom number three, we get an occasional misfire to the point where we get a check engine light, which is good. Get the old scanner out, and we get code P0301, which is cylinder one misfire on these GMs. P0302 would be cylinder two, P0303, etc. All the way up to, in this case, six, which because this is a V6. So, what that tells me is something going on in the number one cylinder. So we pull that plug out, we pull the plug out, check it, and it's definitely been fouled with antifreeze. You can tell that it's, if it's shiny and clean and does not match the other plugs, you know that's what's happening. It's getting, it's getting antifreeze into that cylinder. That's where the head gas gets leaking. Going into the combustion chamber, getting blown out the tailpipe. So that confirms it virtually a hundred percent right there. Look at that, it even fits in the cup holder. Now, this comes in two different sizes. For today's, for today's magic show, we're using the 16 ounce small size. Now, I like to use this for cars where they, the car still runs, runs fairly good, but you know you've got a problem. It's steaming and overheating and and now if you have a big engine, a V8, some V6s, and the car's really running bad and really giving you big problems, you want to go with a bigger size, that's a whole different set of instructions. We'll go over all that. But it is very important that you follow the instructions on the bottle to the letter. It has to be precise. You have to, you have to follow those instructions and don't vary at all from what that bottle tells you to do. Step number one, you're going to start with a cold engine. The car has to be completely cool. Let it sit overnight. Pop the radiator cap off safely, which we have done. Boy, what a mess. Now, if your car doesn't have a radiator cap, what you have to do is take the radiator hose, the upper radiator hose off. Take that off. Pour the, pour the Blue Devil directly into the radiator through the hose. But surprisingly, this Chevy, this Chevy has a radiator cap. Okay, now, I'm going to start the car. Okay, she's running, barely. Okay, you're going to pour the ready to go directly in, very slowly. You want to do this very slowly, over about a whole minute. Nice pretty blue color. Just a little bit at a time. You want to, when you start, you want to make sure that you have room for it. So you want to, might want to drain 16 ounces out of the out of the radiator. Okay. A little bit more. This thing's thirsty. And you keep doing this over the course of about one minute. Yeah, she's blowing steam. We're about, whoa, two or three minutes into the process. Okay, we'll put the cap back on.
I'm going to even go so far as to close the hood. The can says you have to let it run at idle with the heat on high. With the heat on high for 50, five zero minutes. Uh, we're going to go the whole hour. That's usually what I do. I go a whole hour. In the meantime, we got to find some way to keep ourselves entertained. So I'm gonna go mess with the neighbor. She's watching. Yeah, this blue devil. This blue devil is so good. It even tastes good. <coughs> I'm just. I'm just. I'm just playing with you. Don't do that at home. It's just a joke, okay? It's poison, okay? Very bad for humans. Great for a car, but bad for humans. <laughs> Miss McGillicuddy. She's very, very nosy, but I like her. You know, you can tolerate her. She's a pretty Irish girl. So, yeah, we like her. Check it out, check it out. We are 19, 19 minutes into the process. No more steam. Look at that. No more steam. Running a little bit smoother. How about that? I'm telling you, I'm gonna be five for five. This is the fifth time I'm using this. Five for five. Let's just chill here for a minute. <laughs> Hi, Miss McGillicuddy. We are 25 minutes into the process, and she's running nice and cool. Cooler than she usually runs. No messages in the message center. She doesn't have anything to say. No check engine light. I better put my seatbelt on. Looking good. One hour. We are at one hour. No steam. She's running cool. We have great heat. God, we have a torch. Everything working really well right now. Getting hot in here. That engine is nice and cool. Even Miss McGillicuddy's smiling. Here we are, day two. My home away from home. Waiting for the redecorator. Anyway, everything is still good. She's running cool. She's not losing, doesn't seem to be losing any coolant. Making sure everything's tight. That's a little too tight. This stupid Chevy. Hey, good news. No stitches this time. 60 degrees in late December in the northeast. What's going on? Anyway, it's two days, 92 miles. No runs, no drips, no errors. Fingers crossed. One thing, one thing that I forgot, one step in the procedure that I forgot Gotta kick these Chevys. Steel toe boots. Dang, got me these fish. For Christmas. I'm trying to get my ice cream. She always gets me aquatic stuff for Christmas. Last year was a jellyfish, the year before that was a penguin. Where is he? I don't know. 
Anyhow, hey, that's Blue Devil, huh? Pretty cool stuff. Speak of this devil. Hi, Diane. How did I know it was you? You're the only private that calls me. Could have been what? Who? Could have been. <laughs> Could have been Miss McGillicuddy. What do you know about her? Her first name. I don't even know her first name. It's what? Kasha. Kasha? That's Russian. She's Irish. Father, her mother was Russian? Why are we talking? Are we talking? Huh? How's what? How's, oh, your fish. Yeah. The big one keeps trying to get my ice cream. My ice cream. Oh. No, no, I am not cheating on my diet. Hang on. Diane's got me on a diet trying to get me to lose 20 pounds. It's crazy. Huh? Who am I talking to? The fish. No, it's not cheating. What was the goal? What was the goal? The goal was what? Three pounds a month. Three pounds per month, right? It's been three weeks. I have already lost four pounds. So, how many have you lost? None? How much ice cream have you eaten? Hello? <laughs> anyway, if you guys decide to use this and you decide to use the bigger size, the 32 ounce size, the instructions are different. That's for the tougher jobs, bigger engines and tougher jobs. With that one, you have to pull, have to pull the thermostat out of the car. Take the thermostat out so everything is free flowing. Then you have to drain the coolant, drain all the antifreeze out, flush the radiator out, drain everything out of it, put water, only water back in, fill it with water, and then you follow the instructions on the can. Pretty much the same way this is after that. A little different, a little bit more labor intensive, but I tell you what, they guarantee it. Permanent repair guaranteed. Just don't drink it. Anyhow. That's going to do it for this week's video. If you haven't already, think about subscribing to our little channel here. If you have, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next week.